Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Virtual Nunchucks. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope this video finds you well on this uh, Tuesday. Anyway guys, uh, we're going to talk about some news. So uh, we're going to talk about some Avengers updates. We're going to talk about uh, Ghost of Tsushima, the fall update, or the Legends mode. We're going to talk about uh, this game you see it on the screen here. So sit back, relax, and we're going to just... Go for it. If you're new around here, what I do is news updates like this one, reviews, of course, of the latest and greatest games coming out, gameplay, gaming in general, as well as accessibility features for disabled gamers. I, I, because I am one and it's important, you know, I do that. Anyway, guys, uh, so if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Every Monday through Friday, I put gaming content up. So there you go. All right. So let's talk about some Avenger news real quick. Apparently there's been some issues, uh, if you've been paying attention to Twitter and all that kind of stuff, yes, we're not talking about bugs, we're not talking about stuff, we're talking about priority missions. Apparently people have been playing the priority mission this week, a uh, day of the remains, and saying, whoa, 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 this is way too hard, this is way too difficult, I'm getting killed, I'm not getting my rewards, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, please do something about it. So uh, the developers paid attention, and so what they've done is they've decided, I guess, to scale the uh, mission to your power level of your character. So it's not so overwhelmingly difficult, uh, especially the fire adaptoids at the end. Those are the major complaints uh, that people have about those fire adaptoids. Uh, they need to do it for every mission because those fire adaptoids are a pain in the butt. I can tell you that from honest, uh, for, from experience. And every time I play the Day of the Remains when I'm uh, using it to level my lower level characters up, I get irritated and I, and I actually have a little bit of um, trepidation about facing those adaptoids. Because the rest of the mission's fine, in my opinion anyway. I don't have a problem with it. But when you get to those adaptoids at the end, holy cow, it's hard. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they adjusted that. So apparently if you're playing level 45, it'll adjust to your power level 45. If you're power level 150, well, tough luck, because that's the hardest level there is. But at least you'll have a little bit of a more fair challenge uh, to to the game this time. Um, so yeah, that's a welcome change. So just jump in there, see if it's working for you. If it is, let me know in the comment section below, because to be honest with you, I've been playing this game on the screen more than I have been Avengers the last couple of days, so I haven't even tried yet. So let me know. Uh, let me know if it's working. All right, so there's that. So yay, no more no more uh, overpowered adaptoids, I hope. So yeah. All right, but uh, we're also going to talk about uh, the Legends update for Ghost of Tsushima. We finally got a release date, so first of all, let me mention that. That is on the 16th of October, so only about a couple of weeks away. Uh, we're going to get the Legends mode, which if you have not heard, what well, basically what it is, it's a multiplayer mode where you and, I believe, two other friends, so three people in general, can play together in different story mode missions. Uh, not it, it's separate from the uh, from the story uh, of the main game. It has its own storyline. It has its own class system. You can have several different classes. Each class has its own uh, move set, its own armor set, uh, cosmetic set, uh, stuff like that. It has just some crazy mythical Japanese mythical stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing it. It looks completely awesome. The class that appeals to me right now is, uh, or at least looks like it appeals to me right now, is the Assassin class. Uh, they got some pretty cool looking stuff or some pretty cool looking moves. Um, so apparently what you do is you uh, first start out on the, as a samurai. You unlock classes as you go. And uh, then you can customize your class however you want. Play those missions over and over again. Whatever you want to do with your friends totally cool I'm, I'm all for that the other thing we're getting with that mode though is something people have been asking for for a very very long time new game plus so finally we're getting a new game plus so you can take all of your save from your previous playthrough if you got all the abilities you're going to carry them over just like new game plus but what we're getting is we're getting new horses uh a brand new horse we're getting new armor sets we're getting new dies we're getting uh new vendors uh and what's pretty cool is uh, say for example if you start a new game with your, you know, your your fully upgraded character or whatever, you start a new game. Uh, you're gonna get a new vendor who will, instead of uh, getting your mission rewards at the end of, say, for example, Heavenly Strike, when you get that move ability as a reward, instead of getting that as a reward or an armor set as a reward or something like that, you'll get what's known as Ghost Flowers. You take those Ghost Flowers to this new vendor. He gives you new dies for your armor. 
pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to see what kind of uh, die uh, colors and stuff like that they're going to put on the armor set. Some of them that I saw on the trailer looked pretty, pretty cool um, that they released yesterday. So yeah, there's that. And then we're also going to get um, some some uh, UI treatments, I guess. What they're doing is they're allowing you to customize your armor a little bit easier. It's all on one screen now. So for example, if you have the Goku armor, uh, you'll see the Goku armor and like four circle slots. And you can uh, add and take off charms as you see fit. Instead of having to flip pages and do all this crazy stuff to change your um, to change your charms that you had on your other sets and stuff like that, so it's all on one page now. It's all streamlined, and you can just click and put your charm there. Click, put your charm there, and you can set up all of your armor the way that you want to set it up, so that you can just flip through the different armor for the different situations that you're going in, which is pretty cool because a lot of people were having a lot of, I know I was, and, I, and I've and i been reading on Twitter that a lot of people were having trouble with, um, you know, they'd only stick to one or two sets of armor for the entire playthrough, not because they didn't like the other armor sets, but because it was just so hard to get everything switched back over and and all that stuff back and forth between the armor sets and the charms and all that kind of stuff. So they streamlined that and you're good to go there. Um, so yeah, and the difficulty level is going to be spiked up a little bit. So uh, if you play on normal like I did last time, uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you this time uh, as part of the new game plus. But you can, of course, uh, adjust the level just like you could uh, when the game came out uh, as you go. So if it becomes a little too hard, you can knock down the level or the difficulty level and so on. Uh, just as before, but they've upped the difficulty level as uh, default for you starting New Game Plus. So for those of you who are looking for a more challenging combat, go for it, man. It's there for you. All right, one last thing I want to talk about really, really quickly. And again, that's on the that's on the 16th before I go on to the next thing. It's on the 16th. It's like a DLC. So you go into your PlayStation Store. Uh, if you already own the game, you just download it like you would any other DLC. Uh, and uh, you are good to go. Uh, but you do have to own the game. It is not a standalone uh, add-on or anything like that. It's not a stand -on, standalone mode. It, you, you have to have the game. So, okay, so now that I've covered that, sorry, we'll go on to the, to the, to the last thing that I want to cover, and that is the Star Wars Squadron gameplay that you're seeing on the screen. Uh, I want to talk to you guys just a minute about my initial impressions of this game, and if you're into space combat at all, uh, or flight sims, or flight combat, uh, you know, dog fighting, this is the game for you. Uh, my initial impressions are this, uh, okay, uh, that VR adds something unique and very, very awesome to the experience because you're able to look around instead of having to worry about camera angles and all that kind of stuff. You can just look over your, you know, if you're uh, in an open canopy, you can look up and see where your opponent's going. Uh, you can look out to the sides, obviously, and see where your opponent's going and be able to correct your flight path for that. Uh, but VR adds something spectacular to this game. It looks great, uh, even in PSVR, which is the way I have to play. It looks great. Uh, I have had very little problems with uh, games crashing or technical issues. I have seen that reported, but I have not had any of that, uh, which is which is totally cool, uh, totally awesome. Um, but I'll give you my f my full review on this probably in the next day or two. I'm going to put some stuff together so you guys can uh, see what I'm talking about and go ahead and give you a full review. I, I promised that I wasn't going to actually do that, but I think it's worth, uh, worth doing after playing it and playing the entire campaign. I think it's worth giving you guys my opinion on this game. Uh, I'm trying to give, uh, the reason I'm waiting a day or two to do it is because I want to give you guys the good and the bad. Because this game, as fun as it is and as awesome it is, is as it is, there are, it's not a perfect game. Um, but it is definitely, uh, definitely something unique. And if, if you like dogfighting and, and flying around and blowing stuff up, then this is the game for you. Uh, but we'll talk about that more in the next, uh, in, in the next couple of days. Um. I played it for five days, 
since Friday. Uh, I've played it since Friday night and um, played it with my brothers and some friends and and things like that. So and I've played the entire campaign. So I do have uh, some some things and some issues with it. I do have some some really good things to talk about. Um, but but I wanted to let you guys know that my initial impression is that this game is 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 crazy fun, uh, especially with friends. But uh, we definitely need to talk about it, and I plan on doing that in the next couple of days. So stay tu stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, as you can see in this particular gameplay, uh, it was in the campaign. It was I was fairly new to it, and I was crashing a lot. But once you figure it out, man, it gets it gets crazy fun. It's still difficult. There's a very high high uh, uh, skill ceiling for this game, but there's nothing like being able to uh, whip around and uh, when you finally do land that kill shot against other players, uh, it, it just, it's just there's something about that, man. It's just so cool. All right, but anyway, guys, in case you don't know, it's forty dollars uh, on every platform: PC, Xbox, and PS4. Okay. Um, you can play with or without VR. Works great either way. You can play with controller or without, and the controls are completely remappable. You can remap every single button that they use on your controller. Uh, so the original or uh, the uh, the uh, default control scheme doesn't work. They actually have two other settings plus a customizable one, and it's completely customizable. It's totally, totally awesome. So I do recommend that you uh, give it a shot. Uh, but I will talk about it in, in full in the next few days. Anyway, guys, I, I, this video is longer than I wanted it to be. I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you in the next video. Until then, keep gaming. Don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook.com slash Virtual Nunchucks over on Twitter at VNunchucks, where I am most of the time. And if you're not following me over there, you should, because I post some stuff over there that doesn't make it over here. So, yeah, uh, follow me over there. And, of course, Twitch.tv slash Virtual Nunchucks. I hope you guys have a great day. And 70% uh, of you who watch my videos are not subscribed shame on you you watch my videos but you don't subscribe why why it's so fun it's so fun we have fun over here we do we try to anyway hope you guys have a great day bye guys